Good evening. Welcome to Crash. This is our one of our youth groups. It is Wednesday, March 24th. Um, for those of you that might just be joining us tonight new, uh, we haven't met now for over a year because of the pandemic. We're looking forward to, to coming together again, and hopefully it's soon, uh, if not sooner. Uh, so, uh, so I thank those of you that continue to watch these videos. Alicia, I, I saw something on my on my iPhone, something about your daughter, about Sammy, but then I couldn't find it anywhere. I didn't I couldn't find it on Messenger or or um, or, or text or anything. So uh, whatever it was, please let me know what it is that uh, that you were excited about. Um, I want to thank those of you also that share these videos. Uh, let me open with a prayer. Father, I pray for every young person watching. Uh, God, I'm excited about, uh, about our youth, uh, encouraged by how much they, uh, they have blessed me in my life. Uh, and so I pray, God, that you would bless them tonight with your word. Amen. Uh, I want to thank those of you that prayed for me. I, I know I shared it last night, and some of you may not have watched Impact. Um, quite a few of you uh, prayed with me. Uh, first of all, there was there was uh, Isaac and Lucas that was there. Aiden was there. Uh, Abby and her little sister uh, Charlotte were there. Uh, Sammy was there. Sammy prayed with me after after the prayer, prayer little prayer service, and then uh, and then and then Alicia, you put your your two sons on uh, and your and your and your husband and their father on. Uh, on, uh, on on our FaceTime, and they prayed with me. Uh, that was just awesome. It was just awesome. And Veronica, you prayed for, in behalf of your girls. So I appreciate uh, every single one of you. I want to talk tonight about. I don't know if you realize, young people, how blessed you are. Oftentimes we 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 compare ourselves to others, and then we start to feel sorry for ourselves. Uh, because we see others that have more than we have, and and, uh, and some some of them have much much more than what we have. Um, however, you have to realize that everything is relevant. Now, this is what I mean by that. There's many looking at you, uh, re thinking how blessed you are. Um, everything is relevant. You could be. You could be living in a in a in a little in a tent, and then jealous of someone that's living in an apartment, and then you could be living in an apartment and jealous of someone that living in a house, and you could be living in a house and jealous of someone living in a mansion. Everything is relevant. Uh, let me try to explain this. Uh, I'm going to share a little bit about my generation growing up. Now, I know you always say, oh, yeah, I know. You walk to school uphill and you walk back uphill. No, no, but, but my generation and others made great sacrifices, great sacrifices. Uh, when I was young, I was 18 years old, I, uh, I had to spend two years in the military. You, back then, you got drafted and you had to spend two years. Uh, many of my friends were killed in the war. There was a Vietnam War going on at the time. Many of my friends were killed there and they were in the ages of 18 to 20. Uh, I have at, at least 15 people that I know of that were killed in that in that war. When I was in basic training, uh, I remember this young man because he, he had the last name Presley and I was an Elvis Presley fan. Good looking young man. And in uh, a couple of weeks after he went to Vietnam, I heard that he had been killed, by, shot by a sniper. So we made great sacrifices. Um, I see how many gifts that, many, that many of you get on Christmas. Uh, I look at my grandchildren. Uh, sometimes they don't even realize where the gift came from. There's more than what they can play with. My daughter has to give some of them away and sometimes they've never been opened. When I was young, we we used to get one gift on Christmas, and that was it. One. Never had a bike growing up. Never had a bike. Lived on a farm. Never had a bike. 
Uh, I honestly cannot remember ever getting anything on Easter. I probably did, but there's no memories of us ever getting anything on, on Easter. Uh, many of you will get more candy than you know what to do with in a couple of weeks. Um, and then we look at youth in other countries. Uh, boy, they would gladly trade places with every one of you. Gladly. Do you realize that only 18% of households own a vehicle? 18% of the households in, in, in the world have a vehicle. In the United States here, many households have more than one vehicle. Uh, there's millions, millions and millions of orphan children in India. It, 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 there's youngest, four or five, I got a grand, little grandson named James that's five years old. There's, there's millions of orphans in India his age walking on the streets, surviving on their own. Can you imagine that? I can't even imagine little James having to survive on his own out there. And the, sometimes we go to a park and we lose him for a second and we're like panicking. It's like, well, where's James? Where's James? They live on the street. They, they, they have to fight dogs for, for food. It, it's pitiful. And then there's what they call the untouchables in India. The untouchables are children that are, bo that are born to prostitute. Prostitution is a big thing in India. These women that are that 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 are forced into prostitution have no birth control or anything, so they end up getting pregnant, having children, and they're called the untouchables. And no one wants anything to do with them. That's why they call the untouchables. And they live totally on their own. Good evening, Jocelyn. Good evening, Paul. Um, it. it it's, I'm sure some of you may be watching the news now about all the children that are coming from other countries to our, to our borders, wanting to come into the United States, seeing everything that we have in the United States, and they're, and they're literally walking for hundreds, thousands of miles to get to the border, hoping to be able to get in. Children all alone, all by themselves, not even with their parents. So... We are very, very blessed. Those children of the border look at you and say, you, you are extremely blessed. Those orphan children untouchables in India look at you and say, you are ungodly blessed. You hear that? You're blessed. You're blessed. Wow. We are so privileged and yet many times we are so ungrateful. Let's hear what, uh, what God has to say. Uh, first of all, he gave us the greatest gift ever. Gave, God gave you the greatest gift you will ever receive, and that's the gift of eternal life. You're going to spend eternity in heaven with God. God gave you that gift. And then in Ephesians 5.20, it tells us this. It says this. It says, Always give thanks to God the Father for everything in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Always give thanks to God. That That's one of the reasons. Good evening, Jolene. Guys, I see you watching these videos. We can't wait to start up again. I want to get you and your sister and Joseph and Mason back to the group again. Can't wait to have you guys with us again. Thank you for, for watching. Um, we need to give thank God every time you, every time we eat. Every time we eat, we need to, to say a grace. A grace is, is merely giving thanks for the food that you're going to eat. We need, we need to give, be given thanks for, for everything that we have. In 1 Timothy 6, 6 through 8, God tells us this. For godliness with contentment is great gain. If you're close to God, be content with that. For we brought nothing into the world and we can take nothing out of the world if we have food and clothing we will be we should be content with that if you have enough to eat and clothes to wear God says you should be content with that remember how many people that don't have that how many children your age how many youth your age that don't have that they don't have that everything that you have and then in James 1 17 God said God tells us this he says this, every good and perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of heavenly lights who does not change like sifting shadows. 
all the good gifts you have as a result of God blessing your life. You have been blessed. You are blessed. You will continue to be blessed because you live in the great United States of America. We are extremely blessed. Sure, some more than others, granted. Some of you have friends that have much more than you have. But remember what I said, everything is relevant. There's a lot of youth your age in the world that look at you with, like, would trade places with you in a heartbeat. In a heartbeat they would trade places with you. Because you have so much more than what they have. One of the things we have that we take for granted is freedom. We have freedom. You have, you have total freedom here in the United States. We have freedom to, we have freedom of religion. You have the freedom to, 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 to watch this video tonight. You have the video when we meet to, to go into church. There's many countries out there, many, many countries out there that do not have that freedom. In Iran and Afghanistan, they don't have the freedom to just go to church. They have to meet secretly. Because they, 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 are, they are persecuted. They are persecuted for their faith. If, if, if you live in those countries and you are Muslim or Hindu and you leave that religion to turn to Christianity, you, you are either separated from, their, from your family, they have nothing to do with you, or you're persecuted, or you're even killed. We don't have to worry about any of that here in the United States. Young people, you are blessed. You need to thank God every time you get something. Every time you get a new pair of shoes, thank God. Every time you get a new, some new clothes, thank God. Every time you get a meal, thank God. Amen? Hey, thanks for watching. Uh, God bless you. Uh, we're getting close to being able to meet again. Um, so some of you are old enough to be watching the devotions. We have them every morning at 8 o'clock. Uh, tomorrow night also is our Bible study. So thank you, young people, for watching. God bless you all. Have a great night. And if you're willing, share this video. See you later.